Okay, so a while back I made a couple of videos about how you can stream games from your Xbox or your PlayStation to Twitch and YouTube and those videos actually did very very well and a couple of people kept leaving comments asking me to make another video about how you can stream games from your mobile phone to YouTube or Twitch or pretty much any platform that you can stream to. Let's get into it. Okay, so there are two apps that we could use here, Prism Live Studio and Streamlabs Live Studio. So one thing to keep in mind is that Prism Live Studio lets you multi-stream to multiple sources for free, whereas Streamlabs only lets you stream to one source for free until you upgrade to their premium package. So let's get started first with Prism Live Studio. Okay, so first you want to download the app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store or wherever it is that you guys download your apps from. Now, once the app is downloaded, you want to open it up and the first screen you will see will be a sign up page. Now, this can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be the account you want to stream to. Now, once the app opens, your front camera is gonna pop up first. When this happens, you just swipe left to the part that says screen. Now, when you're here, you'll see two options, portrait and landscape. In this case, we're gonna go with uh, the landscape option since that's how we play most of our games. Unless you play your games in portrait mode, then select the portrait option. So while you're here, you can add certain things that you want to add, like a chat screen. You can adjust this to your liking. You can choose the font size. You can choose the font style. You can even go ahead and choose the font color. You can actually even go ahead and add your logo at the bottom or pretty much any picture that you want to add while you stream. Now, once you have that sorted, click on that video-ish button and it will take you to a screen where you choose where you want to stream to. Now, say you choose YouTube, right? The next time you open the app, it will automatically land at the stream to YouTube screen. So in case you want to add another source, all you have to do is click the profile icon at the top and then click the settings icon next to your profile name and it will open up a menu. And here you can select a stream destination and add another stream destination. As you can see here, I have already linked my Twitch and YouTube. So for you, you just have to go ahead and link wherever it is that you wish to stream to. Okay, so another method is just to click the where you want to stream to icon. In this case, for me, it's showing my channel name, Robocop Phoenix. And then when I turn on Twitch, it will activate multi-stream automatically, meaning I'll be streaming to YouTube and Twitch at the same time. You can also add another source by simply just tapping the plus icon and select where you wish to stream to. It could be Facebook, Kick, or pretty much whatever supported platform that you want to stream to. Now, when all this is done, click the go live button and then start the broadcast and then just switch over to the game you're playing and you're good to go. So to see all the live activities like comments, super chats, and likes on your live, you can view this from a secondary device, maybe another phone or a laptop or the Prism app itself, but that would mean you would have to leave the game and then come back to the game so i would just suggest maybe getting a secondary laptop or, or a phone or something to manage the comments and everything from there oh here's a bonus tip you can actually link your prism app to your laptop do let me know in the comments if you want me to make this tutorial all right so real quick before i move on to the streamlabs app if you found this video helpful so far please make sure you subscribe to the channel also like this video and share it with your friends and family it could help them too if you encounter any challenges in setting this up, please make sure you leave me a comment below and I'll reply to each and every one of you. So let's move on to the Streamlabs app. Okay, so with Streamlabs, it's pretty simple. Open the app, select go live and select between camera or screen share. In this case, we're gonna go with screen share. So at this stage, go ahead and link your YouTube or Twitch account. As you can see, my YouTube is already linked. Now, like I mentioned before, Streamlabs won't let you multi-stream on the free version, but the paid version will. So once you're all signed in, select go live and you see three options, active event, incoming event and create event. Select the third option, which is create event. Then here you want to provide details about the game you want to play. No, I have blood strike on here because it's the last game I streamed on this app. Now, once you're all done, click save and then click go live and then select start broadcast and open your app switcher and go to the game you wish to play. And that's pretty much it, you're live. All right, so thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, really appreciate it. Thumbs up to the video would go a really long way. Share this video with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.